eraser in a Beyblade, a pencil sharpener in a toy car, and Lego in paint containers? We know just how to hide toys! Learn all about how to sneak toys into class in our new video! A very serious class is starting! The kids are solving equations! This is no place for fun! Unfortunately, Ben breaks his pencil, but Stevie's rescue squad has already sent a truck to him! Hot glue a pencil sharpener into a toy truck. Sharpen a pencil, and all the shavings are left in the truck. The truck comes in time! Ben fixes his pencil, and the truck takes away all the shavings! Miss Smith detects the suspicious sound of wheels. Relax! It's not a toy, it's just a pencil sharpener. Ben can go back to learning. Jessica is late to class again. Okay, you're here, sit down! The guys quickly decide who will be sitting next to beautiful Jessica. Ben loses at rock, paper, scissors. His place is at the second desk. Jessica has snuck a stuffed toy into class, but she acts as if it's a backpack. Take a soft toy animal without filling with a pocket inside. Sew Velcro into the pocket. Cut webbing of a matching color and size for the straps. And sew the straps to the backpack. Attach two straps at the bottom. Bend another one and sew it on top. Attach strap fasteners to the top straps. Fasten the bottom straps. Jessica takes school supplies from the depths of her plush duck. It turns out that this ducky can hold a lot of stuff. But that's not it yet! In the middle of the class, Jessica puts the backpack onto her hand and scares her classmates! The little duckling makes everyone tremble with fear! While Miss Smith is enjoying new Snoop Dogg songs and can't hear a thing, the guys arrange a Beyblade tournament. A desk is the best arena. Whose Beyblade will win? Jessica needs an eraser right now. And Stevie comes up with a life hack. His Beyblade is from a special school supply collection. Take a Beyblade apart. Carefully unscrew the spinning top with a spring. Trace the button on an eraser. Cut out a detail of an identical shape. Stick the eraser into the spinning top instead. Assemble the Beyblade. Stevie launches the Beyblade on Jessica's notebook. A few seconds and the mark is erased. Jessica loves it! She will keep the eraser Beyblade for herself, and we will tell the teacher that it's just an eraser. Ben has to go to the blackboard. Busted! He didn't learn this topic. Ben is as anxious as a first grader. But the kids won't leave their friend high and dry. They send him hints using a slingshot made from glue sticks. Hot glue three glue sticks together, shaping a slingshot. Even out the surface on the joining with the hot nozzle of the glue gun. Apply acrylic primer and color it with acrylic paint. Cut two ovals out of felt. Tie elastic cord to the slingshot when it is dry. Fasten it with hot glue. Attach the ends of the elastic to the felt. Cover it with another felt oval on top. Stevie aims the slingshot and successfully hits Ben. He got the correct answer. Ben answers the question. Victory! One more time! But Stevie fires an unlucky shot and the hint flies right into Miss Smith's forehead. Do you have a slingshot? Stevie quickly transforms the slingshot back into a glue stick. No illegal weapons were detected on the desk. Jessica is bragging about her pencil case. 
What's so special about it? It's a regular pink pencil case. It's not better than any other. Boys don't understand anything. Jessica will present its entire potential because this pencil case transformer turns into Jake from Adventure Time. Turn a soft pencil case inside out. Hot glue hollow fiber filling to one side to make it more 3D. Cover it with yellow felt. Coat the entire inner surface of the pencil case. Wrap a pipe cleaner with a strip of felt. Make four pieces. Hot glue them to the pencil case's arms and legs. Draw Jake's face and tail pieces on thick yellow felt. Hot glue the pieces to the toy. Cut eyes and a nose out of a foam rubber sheet. The toys easily wraps up inside and turns into a regular pencil case. The boys are not amazed. Then the dog attacks Stevie and Ben. This is war. Ben is injured by the toy school supply. Don't mess with this pencil case. It can stand up for itself. Something strange is happening in class. All the pens are missing. And the light starts flashing. Holy school! Everyone is frightened to death. Even Miss Smith. Someone call the security guard. We have a bat in the room. Suddenly, a ray of light shines on the bed. There is somebody under the cover. It's Batman. Don't be afraid. The dark night is on our side. Take a little pencil and cut off a pen to be the same length. Use a heated knife. Hot glue the pencil and the pen into the legs of a Lego minifigure. Stick a strip of an eraser into the arm. Batman saves everyone once again. He brought a pen and a pencil. You can relax. And continue the class. We need a superhero. Jessica's leaned over the desk and whispering. What's she gossiping about? Stevie has to know everything. Jessica shows him her tiny doll. She has put it to bed on her notebook. Coat a notebook with acrylic paint. Shade the paper block with a marker. Attach patterned paper on top. Cut felt into rectangles. Hot glue lace around the perimeter. And add another piece of felt on top. Stuff it with hollow fiber filling. Hot glue the pillow completely. Cut a rectangle out of linen fabric. Decorate it with lace. Put the pillow and the cover onto the notebook bed. Aw, it's adorable! But our heartless Stevie laughs at Jessica's childish toy. He doesn't understand how she can possibly play with dolls. Jessica is mad at him. Okay, Stevie didn't want to offend the little LOL. He will give it a ride on his truck to make up for it. Jessica forgives her friend. Ha, huh, women. It's time to go on with the class. And the bed quickly turns into a notebook. Soap bubbles are attacking Miss Smith. The kids swear that they have nothing to do with it. And the soap villains keep attacking the teacher. She's mad, but the entire class is still silent. Ben is actually allergic to soap. When the soap bubble invasion happens for the third time, Miss Smith loses her temper. Come on, tell me the truth right now. The guys give up. Jessica reveals her pen with soap bubbles. Unscrew a plastic pen. Cut it with a heated knife. Cover the cut with hot glue. And attach the pen to a tube with soap bubbles. 
Cut a refill to be the same size. Put it in. Decorate the pen with a pipe cleaner. Jessica presents her pen and gives it to the teacher. Miss Smith also tries to blow bubbles, but the power of the pen is limited. Jessica has already used up the entire supply of soap. Miss Smith only gets foam remains and the absence of froth. Ben takes out gouache with My Little Pony. What's wrong with him? He usually doesn't play with such childish ponies. But there's something else going on here. Legos live in these gouache pots instead. Coat the inside of empty gouache pots with acrylic paint. Hide Lego pieces of matching colors inside. Put the pots into a box. The kids take the smuggled Legos out of the gouache pots. Wow, it's a treasure trove! Gouache pots are perfect for hiding Legos. Ben's idea is amazing. They create a whole Lego world in class. The lesson on the creation of the universe is a success. Did you like our ideas of how to sneak toys into class? Then write in the comments which toy you will disguise as a school supply and smuggle into school. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new school tricks on Troom Troom.